I recently read this article on usnews.com that was talking about the fastest growing cities in America and the number one city on that list was Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. No surprise to me, people are moving here all the time. Why? Great weather, low cost of living, an amazing place with tons of things to do. Who wouldn't want to move here? Well, today we're going to discuss the most popular city in Myrtle Beach and why it is. So let's get going with this and discuss Carolina Forest. Carolina Forest is a great section of Myrtle Beach that is located west of the waterway. So you're away from all the tourism stuff that Myrtle Beach has to offer and it's east of Conway, South Carolina. It's a historic town which is kind of a little bit more country style living than over here at the beach. It's the section that's in between. This area started in 1997. It used to be part of land owned by International Paper that was sold off and slowly built up into the subdivisions that it is today. There's about 35 to 40 subdivisions throughout now all of Carolina Forest. People, it's not just just a subdivision or a neighborhood, it's an area with made up of several different subdivisions. So I wanted to share that with you first because people kind of get confused by that at times. Here's a little statistics on Carolina Forest. In 2021, 13,726 homes were sold in Orion Georgetown County in our MLS. Of that, 1,827 homes were sold in the Carolina Forest zip code of 29579, or 13.3% of all the single family homes were sold in Carolina Forest. Homes in this zip code sold for a low price of $48,000 up to this gorgeous mansion that was five bedrooms, four full baths, and two half baths, which sold for $2.5 million. Check it out. So why is Carolina Forest bursting at the seams? Well, it's pretty simple. There's several reasons why, and I'm going to explain some of those to you now. So the first reason why you want to think about moving to Carolina Forest is its location. It is about as centrally located as you can find on a map of the Myrtle Beach area. If my wife and I have friends in town that want to go to dinner up at Clark's Seafood in North Myrtle Beach, we can jump on Highway 31, be up there in about a 25 minute drive to enjoy a great dinner in Little River. If the next day we have friends who come in town that say, hey, let's go to Merle's Inlet and eat down some fresh seafood, we can jump on 31, head to the south, and we're there in 15 minutes as well. If my wife says, hey, let's take the kids over to the beach today, we jump on International Drive, go over to 48th Avenue, take a left, and we're right down at the Golden Mile of Myrtle Beach, where which is probably our favorite section of all the beach. Why is that? It's a section that has million dollar homes all all along through that area. There's not a lot of resorts, which means there's not a lot of tourists. We can go out, enjoy the beach, spread out, have a good time as a family. In fact, here's some footage of when we did this before. It's a great section of beach. Doesn't it look gorgeous? You will absolutely love going and visiting it. There are public beach accesses about every two to three homes, so it's easy to find a place to park, go spread out, and have a great time. The second reason why you might want to consider Carolina Forest is our flexibility in roads. When you get to other parts of the beach, all the roads start to funnel in together. We're here in the Carolina Forest area, we have multiple routes to get around to just about any section of the beach. Like I said before, if I wanted to go visit friends for dinner in Little River, I can jump on Highway 31 and be there in about 25 minutes. Well, let's say that there's a really bad wreck and an 18 wheeler has jackknifed across all three lanes of Highway 31 and we can't take that road. We can jump over to 17 Bypass and get there still in about the same time, a little bit longer, but still pretty close. Well, let's say that there's a bad wreck on 17 Bypass as well. Another 18 wheeler, jackknife that at the same time terrible jackknife drivers around here, but say that happens, we can go over to 17 Business. Say a third one hits that road at the same time, we always have Ocean Boulevard. So what's nice is here in this segment of the beach, there are four main outlets that you can take to go north or go south on the roads and get around. If I wanna go out to Conway, I have options there as well from Carolina Forest. I can take Highway 501, or I can jump on the brand new International Drive and get out there in about 10 minutes as well. Insider tip, if you go on International Drive, don't speed, the cops are sitting there, it's 45 miles an hour, 
You'll thank me later for sharing that with you. Trust me, they will pull you over if you speed on that road. But International Drive is a great shortcut to get out to Conway as well and not deal with all the headaches of traffic. So from here in the Myrtle Beach area, we have options to go north to south or west. We don't really need to worry about east because we're almost right there. It's 10 minutes over, not a big deal. But you can get to any section of the beach fairly easy and get around. If you need to go to the airport, 15 minutes, you're there. So you have options and flexibilities on the roads here in the Carolina Forest area. The second reason why people are really attracted right now to Carolina Forest is the ability to get new construction here in the area. As I mentioned earlier, Carolina Forest really came about in about 1997 when the roads were started of Carolina Forest Boulevard and River Oaks and basically were completed. So most homes throughout this area were not started till at least 1997, 1998 or 1999. What does that mean? You're going to find homes right now in the area that are probably 20 years or less old for the most part. So if you're looking for that home that's not from the 50s or 60s that's going to need tons of renovations, you have a good possibility of finding those here in Carolina Forest. In addition, there is tons of new construction. You have neighborhoods like Waterbridge, Plantation Lakes, Waterway Palms, Carolina Waterway Plantation, the parks, the bluffs on the waterway. There's so many options that are here throughout Myrtle Beach and throughout Carolina Forest for new construction options. You can either buy a lot and build your custom home, or you have some of the big national builders here like Pulte Homes, Chesapeake Homes, DR Horton are all right here in Carolina Forest. Another amazing thing that Carolina Forest has is amazing restaurants. You know, I've done tons of videos in the past about some of the tourist traps in the area or the franchise places to eat. Well, in Carolina Forest, we don't have as many of those. Instead, we have some of the best local spots that you can go to get food. Whether you want to go have a sit down meal at places like Cypress Grill or Soli Luna or one of my personal favorites, the Sneaky Beagle, you can go get great local food and sit down in a great, amazing atmosphere. Or if I want to grab something to go, we have some of the most amazing Chinese spots like Dragon Pan. Or if you want amazing pizza, Scotto's Pizzeria right here in Carolina Forest. It's awesome. There's so many things. We have fast food, all the options that you could think of when it comes to food right here in Carolina Forest, five to ten minutes from your home. And the final reason that you may want to consider Carolina Forest as the place to call home is that it has its own basic ecosystem. Everything that you need to live in day-to-day -day living is right here in Carolina Forest area. We have the grocery stores. There's five of them in Carolina Forest with the six that's being built right now, a major Publix coming to the end of Carolina Forest Boulevard. You have your veterinarians, your dry cleaners, your doctors, your medical emergency, anything and everything you can think of right here in Carolina Forest. You can do everything you need for day-to-day -day living all within a five to 10 minute drive of your home and it's easy, simple to get to. It's not in the middle of the tourist segments of Myrtle Beach and everything is right here. But the beautiful part about it is if we wanna go and enjoy some of those amazing tourist things that Myrtle Beach has, or we wanna take a trip out of town, everything is basically within a 15 to 20 minute drive of here. So Carolina Forest is a great option to think about for moving. If you want to learn more about Carolina Force, shoot me an email. My email address is down below. And if you enjoyed this video, like always, give it a thumbs up, get that bell on, and I'll catch you in the next one. See ya.